சிகிச்சையை பார்த்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் இலங்கையை தண்டிக்க வேண்டும் என ஐநா அவையில் அன்புமணி தரப்பிலிருந்து கோரிக்கை விடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது ஐநா மனித உரிமை அவையில் அன்புமணி ராமதாஸ் இந்த கோரிக்கையை முன்வைத்திருக்கிறார் ஐநா உறுப்பு நாடுகள் இலங்கையை தண்டித்து அதற்கான தீர்வு காண வேண்டும் என்று பாமக தலைவர் அன்புமணி ராமதாஸ் தற்போது ஐநா அவையில் கோரிக்கை விடுத்திருக்கிறார் அதுகுறித்து அவர் பேசியதை நேரலையில் பார்க்கலாம் Mr Vice President Pasmai Thayam Foundation thanks you for the opportunity the Tamil people of Sri Lanka have been victim to racism discrimination and other forms of intolerance for decades tens of thousands have died and many continue to be oppressed we urge member states to implement the high commissioner's call for justice for the first mass atrocity crimes of the 21st century committed by the Sri Lankan government against the Tamil population by pursuing all avenues to end impunity and cycles of violence using the evidence being compiled by the OHCHR's Sri Lanka Accountability Project, including through sanctions, civil, criminal and universal jurisdiction cases in their own courts, referral to existing courts of international justice and creation of an international criminal justice mechanism specifically focused for Sri Lanka. We urge member states to strengthen the OHCHR's evidence collection and recommendation mechanism by maintaining and strengthening the competent team assembled by the accountability project using the evidence collected for strong cases in all possible legal arenas assuring that the mechanism includes evidence of all crimes uncovered including war crimes crimes against humanity and genocide including what the 2015 OASL report noted as widespread and systematic crimes by the state against the Tamil population to take action against anti-Tamil racism in Sri Lanka we urge member states to prevent the demographic change ongoing in areas of historic Tamil habitation through signalization and destruction of Hindu temples with government acquiescence bring Sri Lanka before the ICC ICJ and other international mechanisms through the UN General Assembly thank you